How's it going? So got something in the mail today from my friends at Lewitt. Thought we'd unbox it here, throw them up, see what they do. Um, as you guys know, I've been working with Lewitt for a very long time and they build absolutely amazing microphones. Um, never plugged in a Lewitt mic. I didn't like that's for sure. Let's cut away from ourselves. Let's see what they sent. LCT 140 Air condenser microphone matched pair. Ooh. So we've got the 140 Air stereo matched pair. And what do we use stereo matched pairs for? You got it, drum overheads. Let's pull these out of the box and we're gonna throw this up on the kit in just a minute here and see what we can do. But I mean like you can use stereo pairs for all kinds of stuff. Room mics, overheads, guitar mics. You know, if you set it up on like acoustic guitar, you could do like an XY pattern or something like that. Like that should be absolutely cool. So I'm not exactly sure what these are gonna retail for at this point. I'll get some information on that for you in just a sec, as well as where to find them. Let's see what we get here. Okay, it looks like we get a mic bag and a little quick start guide, some stickers, some other warranty statements, all that good stuff. All right, here we go. Check that out. It's like we get the 140 Air and we get the little sound control. We go flat or with a little top end boost, a little filter, 80 hertz roll off and a 12 dB pad. That is great. Now, I've already got some 140 Airs, but I don't have a stereo matched pair. So I'm gonna have to figure out one way or another to make sure these get marked off as a stereo pair. Maybe put a little tape on the back of them just to let, let me know so I don't get them mixed up with the other ones. But the idea behind stereo matching is that the frequency responses are even enough so you can just throw them up and they're gonna make a great stereo image. So let's throw them up on the drums and see what we can do. Okay, so that's the 140 Air on acoustic guitar and drum overheads. And I thought we'd try it out on a couple other little sources. First off, we're gonna do the transient test here. And that's where we take a ring of keys and just listen to how clean they can re reproduce those super high end frequencies. And every single bass player watching this just went, wow, man, that's cosmic. Seriously though, yeah, this is a, this is a great little test. That kind of thing just separates the good mics from the shitty ones. If you can do it cleanly, yes, that's the kind of mic you want to use. Now, the 140 Airs also have a couple switches on here. You've got a high-end lift, which is like right around the 10, 12 kilohertz region. And there's a 12 dB pad, which is great if you're working with loud drummers, that kind of thing. And there's also a high-pass filter at 80 hertz, so you can take out some of that low-end rumble, say on acoustic guitars and whatnot. But I thought these did a great job on acoustics. I love the fact that on an XY pattern, you know, it's just kind of, you can hear it just pull to one side or the other depending on what the player was doing. I think that's phenomenal. Uh, it also sounded great just as a mono mic and I didn't find the bottom end too overwhelming, but it's nice to know that there's a filter in place there. So if you want to know what that top end lift sounds like, we'll kick that on right there because I'm using the 140 right now 
as monologue mic. So there we go. Test one, two, test one, two, and there it is. That's the sound of that little top and lift. And that kind of works really well, actually, for voiceover and whatnot. But you just got to be careful with the sibilant sounds that the S's don't get too exaggerated. Otherwise, you know, it can kind of tear the listener's ear off. And we really don't want to do that. Not in this case, anyway. Now, that's just how I prefer to do things. I like to leave things flat and then mess with it in post if I have to. I'd rather just leave everything kind of set neutral and then you know work on mic position because that's usually the better way to do things and you're going to get better results. Move it in closer for a little bit more bottom end, move it back for a little less, that kind of thing. All right, now before I go, I got a couple of points I want to bring up. Uh, first and foremost, Lou or Cool Enough, they're going to offer up three sets of these for me to give away on a raffle copter. And we're going to open up this contest to anyone in the world. So if you want to get your hands on a set of these, all you got to do is follow the link in the description below and sign up. Uh, we're going to ship to anywhere in the world. The contest is open to everyone. I just hope your government isn't going to rip you with import taxes and fees if you do win in that kind of country. So um, if that happens, sorry about your luck, figure it out. So price on these guys is $299. You can buy the mics for $150 each, but you can get them matched as a pair for $299, which is phenomenal because a lot of companies out there will charge extra for the matching fee because they got to pay somebody to sit there and go through a batch of microphones and figure out which ones are going to make the best stereo pairs. That's not going to cost you extra. So I definitely recommend getting the pair because they're going to make for great stereo imaging as you heard in the demonstrations. Just writing this down here, yeah, they're $2.99 at Vintage King and B&H Photo Video. And if you're in Europe, you can get them at Toman for 234 euros. Definitely worth checking out. If you're an entry level guy, you wanna start getting into recording drums, that kind of thing, and you're looking for a good set of overheads, I definitely recommend starting out with a set of the Lewitts. They're very clean. I think they do the job quite nicely. And you're gonna find as you're recording acoustic drums that you know, your overheads are really going to matter. Start with a set of those and then build your mic kit around that. Lou has some phenomenal offerings as well, like the 640 Rex, which is one of my favorite kick mics, and the uh, the 240 or 340 TTs, I can never remember the damn codes. Uh, the Tom mics are like 99 bucks each and they're phenomenal as well. Oh yeah, another cool thing coming up, make sure you subscribe for this. I'm actually gonna be going to the Lewitt studio in Vienna uh, later on this summer. We're gonna be doing some content with those guys. We're gonna get to check out their amazing facility and hopefully get to check out a couple of really cool mics along the way. Should be really freaking cool. So make sure you hit that notification bell so you guys find out when all that stuff is coming. It's gonna be really cool to check out. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Go grab yourself a set and by all means, sign up for that raffle copter because I really want to give away a set to one of you lucky bastards. Anyway, show's over. Go do some work, you lazy bastards.